So, welcome. Let's have some stirring music to get started, shall we? for that already we had a Diane Dash this week do you know about our Diane Dash we had this week do you know what a Diane Dash is Diane Dash is an hour from half twelve to half one on a Thursday during the day I know it's a new idea in your lunch break a Diane Dash with our club growth director I, dev I can never remember the trio in the right order uh, a club growth director talking about club growth and we were talking about being seen because a lot of clubs just aren't seen on the internet mm. so tonight we are talking about how to make sure you are seen on the internet now as I said on the Thursday I should probably charge you 2,000 quid for this because this is all about SEO search engine optimization all about being seen on the first page of Google and it's actually impossible to be on the first page of Google for anything you want but it's actually possible to be on the first page of Google for a lot more than you think because the rules for being on the first page of Google are the same for everyone what changes is the competition for that information now if you wanted to sell something that a lot of people also want to sell and therefore you're on competition with multiple websites and multiple other businesses then it gets competitive if you want to be at the top of uh, Google for car insurance quote you're gonna have life really hard and if you want to pay for an advertisement to be on the top of Google for that search you're gonna pay a lot of money but dear Toastmasters we are not in a competitive environment not compared to those sort of situations we have in theory more speaking club organizations than anybody else probably more than most in most areas more than there are competitors, serious competitors, not somebody who's knocked up a website of two pages because they think they might be good at helping people at public speaking and never taught anybody anything in their life. I'm talking about proper organized public speaking companies and organizations. In most cases where we live we are going to be with very few competition. And I say where we live because although we're in this virtual world and we're getting visitors from all over the place our locality is where we really want members I believe unless you're a virtual club in which case it's a different story but for most normal clubs we are effectively a brick and mortar business we have a physical location somewhere even if we haven't been able to use it regularly recently we will certainly want to use it in the future and therefore our competition is any other speaking clubs in the area yes that means our competition may be other Toastmasters club but I don't think other Toastmasters clubs are competition I like to think them as another office of the same brand. Don't think of a Toastmaster club along the road as competition. It's complementary. I live seven or eight clubs within 15-20 minutes drive from me. Maybe more actually if I used an electric bike and didn't get held in traffic. I've got lots of clubs local to me and they overlap me but that doesn't matter because it's just another Toastmasters brand promoting itself so please do not think of other clubs of competition think of them complementary as another office to the same organization and since we've been online I think the realization we're all much more in it together has really gelled with a lot of people so how do you get to the top of Google to answer that question I'm going to tell you a story because we like stories in Toastmasters and I'm going to tell you about how the world has changed 
when the internet first turned up and started becoming a thing which was about 20 plus years ago now how Google and the other guys know what you did and where you got was to you put some text in some boxes called meta boxes and you put this information in your page of what you were and what keywords you were correct for and the search engines basically just believed you and you got listed based on the information you gave now of course this wasn't a really good system because people basically lied on websites pretended that they were things they weren't to get to the top of Google and the other search engines which there were a lot around in those days in fact there were a lot around before Google came along but what Google did which changed things was Google said I can't trust these websites so what I have to do is I'm going to send out spiders as they call them they're just pieces of electronic software and those pieces of electronic software will go around the internet finding websites and when they found a website they then read the information in the page and from that they learn what that particular website's about so it's your content in your website that determines where you are found on a search engine and I believe I'm searching my page already here is a uh, the, the front page for Epson speakers so what will happen is a Google bot or spider will turn up at some time to this page and will have a look at the code behind it you don't want to look at the code behind it but I'm going to show it to you anyhow it's this it's ugly code to us it doesn't mean anything but it means a lot to Google and it means a lot to the browser which turns it to a pretty web page but what's important about this is buried within this is the words on the page and here's some of the words here and it's those words that will determine where this particular website sits on Google so you can see the word public speakers there if I do a find for the word public speakers. it's supposed to be on a share screen because it isn't isn't it shared yet no. that's good here we go so I here's some code for a website this is what the website looks like if you're clever like me you can then look at this and actually start to define where the website is but what we're really interested in is these words in the middle of the website and so you can see the word public speaker is in here once speaker is in 280 times do you think do you think Google's going to realize this this site's got something to do with speaker the reason it's in 280 times is not because I've written it 280 times but because the website is called Epsom speakers so the word speaker is built into the domain name which means every time this website refers to an image or a page or any content that's on the website the word speaker is going to be seen which is going to reinforce to Google that speakers has got something to do with this website what about the fear of speaking so let's see fear of speak. yep yep we've got an entry for the fear of speaking so this website uses a common cheat that I use when you want to get started in this sort of thing I've done a set of bullet points for the things that I think people want to search for the problems they have that they want to search for the challenges they have that they want to search for so if you go into Google and you type speaker clubs as I have here guess what we get people who've paid money advertisements at the top here we then get we all used to call this a six pack we still call it a six pack although there's usually now only three listed but look it's taken three speaker clubs bearing in mind it's Google's got a pretty good idea of where I am in the world because it knows where I am and it's chosen Epson speakers which is a bit suspicious because that is my local club and there are clubs local to me closer but again Google knows me so knows I go to Epson speaker clubs it's also mentioned West London speakers and Lewisham speakers 
and here we are with a join a speakers club see the word is there speakers club so this Facebook entry for the association of speakers has picked up there and then Epson speakers is there then Toastmasters International is there Holborn speakers is there West London speakers there St Paul's speakers is there what are we seeing hey we're seeing lots of Toastmasters clubs great but look if I did that and I got those results, the um, first thing I'm going to say is I want speakers clubs near me. So I might either do speakers clubs near me, in which case Google now is being specifically told by me I want clubs near them, and see how it changes. We've got Beckenham speakers, Wimbledon speakers, speakers of Croydon. See, it knows where I am. It's now trying to find people nearer to where I am. The Association of Speakers is still up there. There's now a meetup group for, for speakers. What about if I if I'm in Epsom where our club actually is? Because I'm a bit of a bit of an outsider really, because I have other Toastmasters clubs closer to me than my own home club. If I put Epsom speakers, look what how it changes now. We've got Epsom Speakers Club at the top. We've got the entry at the right, the um, the uh, details on Epsom Speakers Club. We've got the Facebook page for Epson Speakers Club. We've got the Meetup page for Epson Speakers Club. We've got the Toastmasters.org entry for Epson Speakers Club. We've got the Toastmasters.org um, uh, club entry for Epson Speakers. We've got the club data for Epson Speakers. We've got a listing on Epson New Council for Epson Speakers Club. We've got um, FindOpen.co.uk, which is one of these local, you know, these local map type things for Epson speaking clubs am I yeah, are you hearing the word a bit enough openhours.guru has got an entry for Epson speakers club and then my other local club the Rocket Ride It Rhetoric sneaking in because what does it say now how do they steal have they stole to, stole an entry because it actually says former president Epson speakers club so that because they've done that Google has put them up. Now, does that not show you that the competition is low for this keyword, for this phrase, that my local competitor, Toastmasters Club, just put some text in referring to Epson Speakers Club and gets on the first page? So, I'll say it again. Getting to the top of search engines is really hard. It's cost thousands of pounds and hours of work, but we are not in a competitive world of speakers. There aren't hundreds of speakers against us. It should be quite easy for you to get your speakers club listed on the first page of Google or even do what we've done here. And I promise you, I haven't put that much effort in so far for Epson speakers to get you listed everywhere. And I said that the reason we got listed was because we talk about that particular challenge in our page. So to be a speaker, we could change it and say, I want to know public speaking in Epsom. All right. And even if I get it wrong, Google says, do you want this? Google does a little bit more than just test the, the actual words. The first thing it does is it, it checks for spelling mistakes and says, oh, did you mean this? It also looks for synonyms and it has like a word map of all, of all words and it will look for words that are similar in meaning and in context and can list people because they are offering something that's similar but not the same word. The same word, top. Similar words, just below. And context, because if I put Speakers Club in a web page for Courage PC World, they wouldn't get listed as a Speakers Club. Because all the other words would be about something completely different. They'd be about selling me new television the page needs to have words in context so keyword stuffing keywords that have nothing to do with your business is not going to impress Google they will reject you because they want 
similar words and the context so you want to talk about speakers clubs you want to talk about speaking you want to talk about all the things that you think people want to learn when they come to your club leadership all of that and it doesn't just have to be the first page you can use other pages on your site to promote things in fact in a way that's better mention all the stuff you do on the first page but on internal pages take a take a subject like learning like leadership and write all about that on a separate page so Google knows that you're into that and there's a page of content about it when you do all your entries for your Facebook for all your meetups Eventbrite where down my street up my street whatever they are next door all these sites that you can promote your site on make sure you don't just say come to our speakers club put some text in there about why you want to come in there for two reasons firstly humans like that sort of information because it backs up why they want to join you and second the computer bots like that information because it confirms to them that you are delivering what the keyword that they are looking for on that entry so put it in your meetup text about speakers club whatever you're selling as the features of why people should join your speakers club make sure that they have it if you do an act um, a Facebook event make sure the words are in there for a Facebook event if you've got a Facebook page make sure the words are in your Facebook page do you think I've gone into that enough I don't let's look at how you could do it on a page now I'm going to assume that using WordPress because everybody should be using WordPress now if you think easy speak is going to get you a list on a listing on Google then I've got some shock horror news for you it's not going to because all easy speak is with all due respect to the guys at easy speak all easy speak is is a meeting program to organize your meeting it is not a website it is not a place where people are going to come and find you on Google if they find you on Google they will only find you on Google if you put the direct club name and then you might get an easy speak entry but you're not going to get easy speak entries for other things and if you do by accident then it's not look very impressive to anyone anyhow is it what's what is a a visitor who's never joined a speaking club before gonna think if they land on an easy speak profile and all it is is a list of all the names of the speeches you're not selling yourselves so please get a WordPress site because they're cheap they're convertible and I can even set you on up for free so here is the back or back door so to speak into the dashboard for Epson speakers club so Epson speakers club has some pages and some posts we'll have a look at the pages first and we will have a look in fact I'll cheat I'll go the other way here's the page that we are on and then I will go into the editor to show you where the page is so here's the page editor so here's all the lovely words and look we've even got our contest tomorrow so there is contest night I wonder if I could say Epson Speakers Contest. Shall we just see? That's really pushing my luck, isn't it? Epson Speaker Contest. No. And I didn't think it would because it only happens so rarely. Um, oh, I can't even spell Epson. Yes, I did spell Epson. You see, it thinks it's Epson. Epson. Epson Speaker Contest. There we are. Google has been back to my website so it's actually noticed that we've changed the front page for a contest How's, how impressive is that even I'm quite impressed because Google it, Google doesn't always come back that often so there we are Google's actually come back and realized that we got contests so after Epson speaker contest we're at the top of the search engine hey I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one in fact I'm even gonna give myself an applause there we go. Well, that's a more positive way that I can mention this method and that is Google will come back you can you probably won't be able to persuade it to come back when you want it to there are ways to do it but you don't really need those it, it will come back on a irregular basis and the reg irregular basis is okay another secret Google gets bored all right Google gets bored if you don't change your content in your page Google gets bored 
and two things will happen when Google gets bored. Firstly, it won't come back so often the next time because there was nothing to see before. So it will probably come back less and less often. Second thing is, you are likely to get pushed down the rankings when more interesting websites appear under your keywords that are updating more regularly because they're more interesting to Google and you can find yourself slip down the ranking so if we froze this website and did add, didn't add anything other websites could take over and push it down also humans also visit websites sometimes they put the thing in Google they do the search and they have a look in your page as well they too will be bored if your page doesn't change and how can you say this John well I can say this very easily because I have a colleague who has set up all the meetup events for me very nice of her problem is she put exactly the same information in every single meetup event now I have been known to sneak into meetup and edit one of our meetup events guess when we get people from meetup joining our club yes on the times that I go in and change the content why well firstly because it kicks meetup or nudges meetup or whatever but it says to meetup hey look we've changed the information on this maybe you should promote it and meetup quite often will and secondly those people that see the same thing coming up on their meetup list again and again and again are going to blank out and get bored if your entry changes that just might catch their eye and obviously it does because when I do that we get more people turning up from meetup now I know meetup doesn't work for all clubs but it does work for clubs in larger conurbations and it certainly works for clubs in London Eventbrite doesn't work so well but it does work but then Eventbrite is free and you have to pay a small fee to meet up so maybe there's a trade-off there so all you need to do is to put the text in your page preferably take these subjects like conquer the fear of public speaking which is what I'm going to do for the next uh, few weeks I'm going to take one of these particular subjects and I'm going to create a new page just on conquering the fear of public speaking so I'm going to have a page as they say in the in the in the world optimized for that particular subject so I'm going to do a nice detailed page on the fear of public speaking in the hope it won't happen always but in the hope that if somebody, somebody looks for conquering the fear of public speaking and they start asking about local to them and they're local to my club the chances are they will not only see my website but they will go to that particular page which will then directly answer their questions because it will be specifically written to persuade people that they can conquer their fear of public speaking at my club don't think of your website as just your front page all the pages could be indexed and if they are interesting to Google they will be indexed and people can find them on the search results that is as easy or as hard as it is to get listed on Google it really is much less effort than you think but as I said if you want your hair cut and I go for look up it's immediately it's it, because it knows I've been talking about Epsom it's prompting me to look for hairdressers in Epsom so if I look at Ep hairdressers then it's finding people local to where I am it knows where I am so it's finding people local to where I am there are no Toastmasters in my town so it would have to go somewhere else if I do hairdressers Napsom look the results have changed somebody who's got a hairdressing salon in Epsom's paid for an advertisement um, rush hair salon don't know why somebody's persuaded them to spend all that money because look they come up at the top of the search engine anyhow
And why do they come up there? Because they've got the keyword in their entry. And look, you can see that they have, because you see how it's, how it's in bold. So Google's telling you those are the keywords that I found in that particular entry. Now there's lots of other more sophisticated things you can do, but if all the Toastmasters Club did those basics, then we will dominate the search engine. Toastmasters near me comes up find a club wonderful working out where I am chooses speakeasy Sutton speakeasy which is uh, technically is probably a mile closer to me than Epsom is depends how depends how accurate Google's found out where I am I don't know if there's a Google bot hanging outside my window looking in the door or or whatever but there we are so Sutton Epsom we're coming up Toastmasters London Toastmasters Find a club. I've done Toastmasters near me. Toastmasters Croydon. I know there's two there's two um, clubs in Croydon. And so, will we see them? Yep, there we are. The two speakers of Croydon. Are, are, they've put an entry into Google Maps because they're listed. Great. And speakers of Croydon. It's been outdone by Toastmasters National. Find a club. Toastmasters National Entry has beaten Speakers of Croydon own website. They've got Toastmasters.org and there's their Croydon Communication, then there's Speakers of Croydon, there's a Facebook for Speakers of Croydon. Speakers of Croydon have done a blog or something called Rosetto. So you see all these entries all coming through and then Wedding Toastmasters in Croydon because there are still a few Toastmasters that do toasts but we put them out much push them there we are see we've pushed them almost to the bottom of the page and that is all achieved by putting the words of what you do in your website as simple as that so what is my call to action to you my call to action to you is simple Get a group of Toastmasters together, your committee or some other people, and do 15-20 minute brainstorming. Think of all of the reasons why people join Toastmasters. Then think of what you would type into Google to find the solution to that question. And put those phrases intelligently, not just stuff them in as a list, put them intelligently into your website and you have the best hooks to get both humans and Google to make you seen on Google search and remember Google search goes a lot deeper than that because although it's well, we've got to be careful if, if it's not listening oh no it's not it's alright it's not listening um, certain voice activated systems shall we say are now working to give you answers and they are trying to use search engines not not that good so far but they are getting better to find answers now I could go to Google Maps on my phone and have you ever tried to go to Google Maps to find where another Toastmasters Club is I have I could even try um, Echo What's the nearest Toastmasters Club to me? I found a few nearby ones. Toastmaster MP, 25.6 kilometres away on Folsom Road. London Toastmaster, 18.4 kilometres away so, on 45. So, Amazon, 93. Echo, stop. Amazon's been a bit too clever because it's given me lists of real Toastmasters so it's actually been a bit more clever than Google Echo find me a speakers club nearby I found a few nearby ones Birkenstead speakers club 57.1 kilometers away on high street 
Yeah, I think there's a few more clubs closer than 57 kilometres away in Burke and Hampstead. I don't think I'm going to go to Sully Hall Speakers either. I think there's a lot more clubs closer than that. But, although it's given me rubbish answers, can you see that that is the way it's going? Because it, it, it didn't give me nothing. It actually understood the question. It's just not very good at getting the answers. Amazon have the problem that they're not Google. Whereas Google, you can usually get more accurate results like that because Google is, um, you know, Google is built into everything else. So Google Maps... So I just hit the button. Toastmasters Club. Okay, so on Google Maps, I've got Sutton and Croydon and Epsom come up on my map. But just putting, just saying Toastmasters Club into into Google Maps. Speakers Club. It's found me a Toastmasters Club. I'm not sure which one it is. I'll have to go to direction to find out which where it's going to. Now it's going to send me to Epsom. So there you are, my Google Maps. Okay, I've gone to Epson Speakers Club before, but I'm just trying to make the point that Google Maps is already... I didn't say Epson, I said Speakers Club, and it remembered I've been to Epson Speakers Club and found it for me. So it's not just Google Search that we, we want. We want to be up there, not just for Google Search. We want to be up there because all these devices are going to start doing things, and as they get better, they're going to go to Google, Bing, or whatever other search engines are still working to get their data. They're going to go somewhere to get that data. And the only way for people to know what you do is to make sure you have a website which says what you do. I would like to think that there would be enough Toastmasters writing blogs that we would find, we would find Toastmasters Club appearing there. I would hope there'll be enough Toastmasters doing podcasts that if we asked for a podcast we would get lots of Toastmasters podcasts and by the way it is in Pathways so you need to be seen on Google to be seen in the social media the answer is actually the same post the same information the same information you're trying to put into your website to make you seen is the same sort of information you need to post into your social media so when people are looking in social media they know what you are and when you post stories about what you've done your speeches we had a fantastic presentation a little bit early talking about pathways and pathway certificates where to find your pathway certificates I would challenge all Toastmasters to print off your pathway certificate or save it as an image and every time you get a pathway, every time you do a speech, why not brag about it on your social media? For two reasons. One is, you'll look much more clever because you're doing this. And secondly, guess what? People who are interested in learning about public speaking are going to be really impressed. They're going to contact you and ask you about it. And you've just sold your club. And if other Toastmasters comment on it, then it gets shared between everybody and then they, friends of friends, start seeing it and everybody's being bombarded with all these speakers are getting certificates here, there and everywhere and and wow, must be amazing. And put your certificates on LinkedIn because that could help your employment prospects. Okay, I have devised, as a, as a, uh, as a proper speech, I've devised dozens of ways of saying exactly the same thing over and over again to make a point. So my call to action is really simple. Guess what it is? Go to your website. Think of the things that people want to join your club for. Think of the things that they will then ask for to join your club for. What are the challenges they have? What are the ideas that you can give them to make them better? And people will find your club. And not only will they find your club, they will find your club in a experience that means they had a problem and your website suggests you had a solution they're going to come with a positive attitude because they're expecting your club to do something for them 
and when it does which it will do because we know how our club meetings worked they're going to be damn impressed because they've come and you, you can tell they've done this because when you ask somebody why they came to your club meeting don't they either say a friend suggested it, a boss suggested it or somebody suggested it or they say I had this challenge and I believe you can help me with it I'm going to do a best man speech I've got to write a eulogy I've got to do more presentations at work they come with that challenge and they're expecting you to fulfill it so make sure your website lets them know that that is what will happen and they come with a positive attitude that you're going to do it for them and you will beat all the other types of speakers club and this is where numbers matter because if you have local clubs they're actually going to be a benefit to you because if you have local clubs to you and you're all promoting yourselves just think about what Google's search is going to look like it's going to be full of Toastmasters clubs and if that is doesn't make somebody think that maybe a Toastmasters club's a good idea because it's popping up everywhere I don't know what is they are not competition to you they are justifying your existence with their existence and they are showing that there are, it's not just one Toastmasters club there are tens of thousands of Toastmasters clubs out there as we know and that will only make the search bombarded with Toastmasters here, Toastmasters there, Toastmasters everywhere maybe I should join Toastmasters it seems quite a popular place and at that point I am going to stop sharing I'm going to end the official part of this presentation except I can't turn the recording off because I've got it turned on blanket blanket wise but I will end the presentation there for the video are there any questions I've just had a thought pop into my head John about yes. the the name Toastmasters this country in Australia is the only two countries where that name doesn't seem to work yes but most Toastmasters clubs don't call themselves Toastmasters yeah so it, it 